Hey everybody, welcome back to Knowledge Work Nexus. It's Kara. Today we are going to try out Typinator. I've been doing the August of Automation series and really thinking that I want to replace um, Text Expander. It's very expensive for what it does. I love Keyboard Maestro, but it is a little more complicated for the things that I want to do. So I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube about Typinator. I think it's going to work, but I need to try it out for myself. So I thought I'd walk you through the process of doing that. So I'm going to download the latest version here, which I can do for free. And there it goes into my downloads folder. And I'm going to find that. And we're going to follow the instructions here. And we're going to go ahead and open it. And it's telling me where it's going to be installed and that without a valid license, which I don't have yet because I have not purchased one, it's going to operate in trial mode, which means it'll only work in text edit, which is fine. That's a good enough way for us to test it. Um, and it opens up a short little tutorial here. I'm going to minimize that just in case I want to read that. And then I'm going to open my system settings to go ahead and give it access. And we're going to scroll down here and find Typinator and go ahead and give it access. And then I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And that should do everything that we want it to do. So we're going to close that. All right. So the way it looks like this works on the tutorials that I've seen is that, first of all, we can make this a little bit bigger. There we go, that's better. Um, you'll put your groups of abbreviations over here in the left. What's in the group will be here on the right. And then you can also download expressions. Um, they call them extensions. So I'm gonna check that out first. Let's go here to the extensions list. Um, let's see, it looks like they have some auto corrections for US English. Let's definitely do that one and then let's do this double caps one because I do that sometime and it looks like they've got an exceptions list. So let's go ahead and add those. And we can take a look at those. When we look at the auto correction, it corrects things like about spelled wrong, about a, about it. These are these look good. I can see that I might need these. So this ACN one might be a problem um, because I work with a lot of higher ed in institutions and one of them I think has the acronym ACN, but I can deal with that if I need to because there's actually a way if you go into the settings for text expand or for sorry, the settings for Typinator, there's actually a way to pause shortcuts, which is control shift T. So you can um, type that and it'll not expand anything for a minute until you retype that setting, which I really like. Um, I don't want to see the window when it opens. I do want to see Typinator at login. I do want to show it in my menu bar. My menu bar is a mess. I need to clean that up, um, but I, I'll find it and show it to you. It's a little T. Um, you can also, I like this, this is fun. Um, you can um, change the sound that you hear. Um, so we'll play a couple of these. <laughs> That's cute. I don't want to hear that. That's too loud. Mm, definitely not. Mm, nope. Oh, cute. Mm, maybe. Nope. Nope. Kind of cute. Maybe. Mm, nope. Mm, that's sweet. Oh, let's stay with the let's stay with the frog for oh what's tink oh no that's what it does in text expander well let's go with summary that's nice and then um you can decide whether you want it to expand in alfred or ray search or raycast or launch bar um for right now i'm going to leave that off i may decide to change that later um, but i'm going to do that it also tells you where your sets folder is um, and I want to actually put mine in iCloud because if I go with this, I'm going to um, have it on two devices. And so I want them to be able to share that. So I'm going to hit change here and I'm going to go down to iCloud and I'm going to go to um, make sure there's not a folder in here already for it. Yep. Okay. I'm going to do a new folder 
I'm going to call this Typeinator Sets, and I'm going to create, and that's where I'm going to put it. And we're going to copy the items from our current. Okay, perfect. So when I set that up on my laptop, assuming I go with Typeinator, um, I will actually want to make sure that I um, don't copy from that device. So this device will sort of be the main, that device will not. Okay, we'll check updates again, um, and we'll check for updates weekly, and allow checks. Sure, that looks great. And we'll click OK. We may come back to those at some point, but um, that is the basics of the settings. So now we're going to add a group. So we're going to add a new abbreviation set. And I'm going to call this emails. And then here on the right, I'm going to add my expansions. So my abbreviation is going to be E semicolon P. And this is my email personal. Okay. And so then we're going to try that. We're going to open up text edit and we're going to get a new document. And basically the reason I'm opening text edit is when you're in trial mode, that's the only app that it will work in. So we're going to use semicolon P and a space. So this is something that you can actually, and I love this. This is something that I don't think um, text expander has. Let's do that one more time. If you watch E semicolon P, nothing happens, but then if I hit the space bar, it fills in. Let's go ahead and come back over here to Typeinator, and um, you can change two things on each setting. So you can decide whether the case matters or does not. I'm gonna say the case does not matter in this case. And then you can decide if you wanna expand at word break or expand on match. For this one, I definitely want to expand on match. So let's watch how that changes what happens here back in Typeinator. Notice how much faster that is, that it automatically expands out immediately and does that. Um, one of the things that I'm losing, it looks like, from um, Text Expander is that, oh, nope, there it is. Okay, so let's go back through that again. Um, if I come down here to the info button for a set, I can click this right here and I can set a prefix or a suffix. So I'm going to do my E semicolon here and I can even set different replacement sounds by group. That's awesome. Um, and for this one, I want it to be expand on match. And then you can also add comments here. So for emails, I'll be using the same expansion start, and I want them to expand on match. Awesome. We'll click OK. And notice now that it puts that E semicolon in, in blue down here. So I'm going to delete my extra E semicolon. There we go. And so let's test that again. We'll come down a couple lines. E semicolon P, expand on match. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and add one more here. Let's add my business one, which is going to be E semicolon M. I type them so frequently, I'm surprised I actually know what they are. And we'll do E semicolon M. There we go. Perfect. Um, so that is working exactly the way I would like for it to. And this is one of the changes that I wanted to make as I moved away from Text Expander, which is to um, clean up some of my groups and, and group a little more intelligently because um, I just I haven't done that all the way along in Text Expander. I want to try a couple more things here while we're just playing with um, the uh, tools in Text Expander. So I'm going to make a new uh, set and we're going to call this test set. There are some things that I do on a regular basis that I want to make sure work. Um, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add a new one. And this is going to be, uh, we're just going to call this one um, eSig. I'll probably play around with the group settings. Again, this is just a test set, so this one is not going to do 
a whole lot for us that we were doing before. Um, so Kara Monroe, um, Monarch Strategies, LLC. And then I'd like my email to fill in here. Can I add a, can add a lot of things to it. What do they call them? They call them abbreviations. Hmm. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually add an abbreviation to this, expand other abbreviations. So it's under the control option because in case my email address would change, I don't want to have to, um, there we go, there it is. Um, and E, semicolon M, and then we'll delete that. There we go. So let's see if that works the way I think it should. So let me finish that sentence and then we'll test it. Um, in case my email address would change, I don't want to have to go back and rebuild my signature too. So if I just always use the uh, expansion for abbreviation or for email, I only have to change the email address in one place if that email address would ever change. This is not one I use it for, but I do use it for um, some URLs and like some grading periods and other things for stuff that I do for people that I teach for. So let's go down here and let's try eSig. There we go. That worked exactly the way I would like it to. Um, you've got actually, when we look here, let's do one more um, test here. You actually have a ton of options. Let's do this one, a, uh, ABC, just for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just wanna look at these different options. You can do a lot of date math here, which is tons of fun. Um, so you can add year. You can also ask for input. Um, let's just test something here. So I want an input field. I want this input field to be start date. And um, you can choose whether you want this to be single line or multiple lines. I want this to be single line. Decide if you want it to be um, a default value and you can assign it to a variable. Ooh, let's try this, start date. Okay, so no, okay, so just text, no spaces, no symbols. Okay, so let's do start date. And the end date is, let's see if we can make this work. Hmm, the end date, date time calculation, Set the reference date. Hmm, let's see if this works. Start date. Daytime calculation. Plus days. Day delta. Hmm, let's do. I think it's 35 days, it's five weeks. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's just see what this does. Okay, so the start date is um, 08 20, 2024, the day I'm filming this. Okay, that didn't work. I'm gonna have to play around with it more, but I am quite sure that this will work um, for what I'm looking for. So, um, I'm gonna keep playing with that. I just, I clearly don't know what I'm doing yet. This is not Typeinator's fault, this is my fault. So I think this is a definite. I am going to definitely purchase Typeinator um, and start moving my text expansions over to this program. Awesome.